Hello guys, a very good morning. This is Dr. Ranjit again. So today we are on the day 7 of challenge. We are going steady and healthy. So hopefully you will complete the 30 day challenge. Even if your need exam is there, if it gets over, I want you to continue this because diagnostic skill is going to be there required for us lifelong, right? So as usual, I'm going to go with the day 6 challenge questions first. We had a case of APML yesterday. I was glad that many of you diagnosed that case, right? You had classical or rots, cleave nuclei, the buttock shaped nuclei and you had lots of granules. It's a classical case of APML and the complication in APML is going to be DIC. That's one of the most dreadful complications in case of an acute promyelocytic leukemia or AML M3. The translocation is classically translocation 1517. You need a genetic diagnosis, PCR or your fish, whatever is available. Anything can help me in diagnosis. I'll prefer PCR because that will give me a quantitative analysis as well, but not as the first line. First line will go with diagnosis, then we'll go ahead with that, right? Then I asked about the treatment. Treatment is arsenic trioxide or your ATRA. Any one of them can be used. It's based on the institutional protocol where you are. Both combination can also be used. Fine. Now let's go to, let's go to today's cases. I've given a title of all that it just. I'm going to talk something about dermatology. Right? I'm not giving you a classical history just to make sure that otherwise you will easily diagnose the case, right? A 30 year old male with a lesion on the shin of the tibia, skin, skin lesion, just some random skin lesion, a biopsy was taken. I'll show you a few classical symptoms here, classical findings here. See this, if you look at this image, what I'm seeing in these Im images, this is my epidermis, right? And this is my dermis. This is my first thing what I'm going to concentrate on. I have an artificial space between my dermis and epidermis. It's not a bulla because in history I didn't say a bulla. So microscopy, you should not have a bulla. I'm an artificial separation area here. I want you to name that. Here also I can see a very tiny area of separation, especially in the papillary dermis. Between the epidermis and dermis, there's a very tiny area of separation. I want you to name that space in the diagnosis, right? Next image, the same image, when I'm going to a higher power, what I have here is, see, this is my basal layer, right? I'll use an yellow color. This is my basal layer of epidermis. The below one is dermis. But once you look at the basal layer, what we must have read about basal layer normally is, we, read, we always read that it's like a row of tombstone, right? It'll become like this. It'll look like this. It'll look vertical and they'll look parallel. When you look at this image, it's neither vertical nor it's parallel to each other. It's become flat. That's a very, very characteristic finding seen in disease. Though not concentrated, that's a very characteristic finding. We call this squamatization of basal epithelial cells, right? Second finding. One was a space. Second is this. The third one will help you to diagnose the disease. Look at this. I have a classical inflammation here. Those are all lymphocytes, it's a very low power image, but I can see the skin biopsy with a classical inflammation seen there. That's one thing I want you to uh, comment on. This is going to help you the diagnosis. A band-like, if I can allow, to, if I'm allowed to say that, band-like inflammatory infiltrate, that should have given you the diagnosis. Again, one more higher power, same biopsy. Look at this. Again, this is a very, very classical finding. Though I, I don't see them often, it's a very good catch we had in our case, right? There is a circle, I have circled a cell. I want you to comment on the cell. That's actually a dead cell. If you can look, it's a very condensed squamatin. How do I know it's a dead cell? I'm going to compare with the squamous cell here. Normal nucleus of squamous cell. And look at this nucleus of squamous cell. Look at the cytoplasma cell. That's an apoptotic cell. That's a dead cell, fine? So now I am sure you must have made up your mind for diagnosis. Today's questions. Tell me what the diagnosis is. And the cell which I showed you in the last image has a name. The apoptotic cell has a name. I want you to comment on the name of the apoptotic cell. And I'm going to ask you one more question. It's not related to this case diagnosis. I have one more disease which will have ball and claw pattern of inflammation. Not like a band, ball and claw pattern of inflammation. I want you to comment on that disease as well, fine? See you soon again in one more case tomorrow. And let's continue this forever, fine? Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.